Hey friend, John McLennan here, and in this video you're going to learn how to play Tangerine as recorded by Led Zeppelin on guitar. Now this song uses a 12-string guitar on that classic main acoustic part, and so I brought out my 12 for this lesson today, and don't worry if you don't have a 12-string, you can still play this same exact part on acoustic, it just sounds extra cool on this guitar, so that's what I'm going to use, and I'm going to break the whole song down for you top to bottom. Now this song sounds really cool to just play at home and strum through even without singing because you've got a moving melody that goes through the chord progression so it becomes instantly recognizable. Before we dive into it, I want to hook you up with something right away though at the first link down below. I've got a free tab sample pack and these are some exclusive downloads and handouts that go along with lessons here on my YouTube channel. So it's just going to make learning from my videos so much easier. So check that out as my gift to you, and with that said, let's break this song down. Let's learn how to play Tangerine as recorded by Led Zeppelin on guitar. We're gonna start off with this classic intro. Here's what it sounds like. Three and four and... <laughs> So we're starting out on an A minor chord, and that's from the fifth string down, open, two, two, one. And we're gonna play a little melody off of the chord, and that's one of the things that makes this riff so cool is you've got this melody, and that goes with what Plant sings later. <laughs> So I'm playing that A minor, then I'm reaching up and getting my pinky on the third fret of the second string. Then it comes off, and then I go to the open string, the open second string, so my index finger comes off. So kind of keep my index finger there, but then I lift it off at the end. Then go to a G chord here, and I play that with my ring finger and index, just two fingers. Then you go to D from the fourth string down, open two, three, two. So rhythmically it's one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and a. So in bar two we have all of a D chord here. We're gonna go. So that's strumming, then two and. On the and a two there's just like this one root note that sticks out. It's really cool. Then you go back and do it again. The second time you keep going down, so you go D, then C, C, okay? So one and two and three. Now, I also want to mention that, you know, sometimes, even though the, the tab says that, sometimes I might just play open strings. And that's a nice little move. You can kind of use those as filler, those strings as just filler as you switch from one chord to an, the next chord. And that's just a great way to make your chord changes sound smooth. Okay, now we get to some arpeggio picking. Here we're gonna go. Okay, so that's a little lick there that walks down. We're on the C chord and we're gonna play five, four, three, four, okay? Then we go to a G over B and that's just the same picking pattern, so five, four, three, four, on both those chords. So first C, then G over B, and then you play the A bass note. And you're really doing this progression. You know, C, G over B, A minor. But you're 
you're just picking part of the chord real quick like this. One E and a two E and a three. Okay? So one E and a two E and a three E and a four and a... And that's four E and a... So there we're strumming the rest of the chord. So first it's the bass note. And then down, down, up. So... And then you get to the next bar, you go one, two, three, four. So that's A minor, G, D, D. Then we do another classic page move. If you're enjoying this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so YouTube will let you know when I post another video just like this. Now what he's doing there is taking a D chord and getting a little melody on top. So that's adding your pinky down to get a sus chord, then natural, then open, then back. So. One and two and three and four and three. Then you're back. Then you're back to the top again. So the whole first part, all eight bars, sound like this. Three and four and. Then you repeat back. Now the second time you go and we go into the chorus, tangerine, tangerine. So we, we finish the same way with that little suspended move. And then we go to a 2-4 bar, we're going to go C, then the D, then the G. And that's just one E and a two E and a down, down, up, down, down, up, G. Okay, then we go into the chorus groove. Now the chorus groove just uses the chords G, D, and C, but you've got some rhythmic variety here. So here we're gonna go. Alright, so what I'm playing here is G, 1, and 2, and 3, and 4, and... So I'm going to that D on the and of 3, and then C on the and of 4. 1, and 2, and 3, and 4, and 1, and 2, and 3, and... And then D on beat 4 in the second bar of the chorus. So this is a little two bar phrase and you'll see this, this is the third line down and it's repeated three times, those two bars there. So one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three. One more time. Okay, then we go on. One, One, two. Okay, then we go back to the verse part. So what I did there to end was just stay on G. One, two, three, four, then go to D. One, and two, three, four, then one, two, a two, four bar, and you're back to either the first part. Now later we go into a guitar solo. Now the guitar solo goes to A minor. D, then F. Okay, so that's the first four bars. So each one of those chords lasts one full bar. So A minor to G, D, 
and then to F, and that's just your typical F bar chord here. I'm doing the thumb chord, but that's just one, three, three, two, one, one, just your standard F chord. From there, we go to an E chord and we go. Okay, so I played an E, one and two, and up to F three and four and. So some syncopation there. Then back up to F one, two, three and four, and then C one and two and three and four, and then to G on the on the and of three is when that changes. So one, two, three and four and. Then you go. So that's G, D, then another page thing. You know, he's lifting up that open string for the D chord. Then add the sus. So that's one and two and three and four and one and two and a three and a four and a one. Then you're back to the chorus chord progression. Congrats on making it through this classic Led Zeppelin guitar lesson. Be sure to rewind the video and go over any parts that are unclear, and then try and put it all together and play it along with the recording. Before you go, don't forget to download my free tab sample pack at the first link down below. And this is gonna make learning from my lessons so much easier because you'll be able to follow along with the handouts that I have for you. Also, let me know down below your number one song that you would like to see me teach here on the channel. Just comment it down below. Thanks for your support with the videos and we'll catch you in another lesson real soon.